So Nate Silver, uh, you guys may remember Nate from the election. He is the guru of predicting elections. Uh, he runs the 538 blog. He just went over to ESPN, so he's already dominated the political sphere. He's moving over to the sports world. Uh, in 2008, he correctly predicted the winner of 49 of the 50 states in the presidential election. The only state he missed was Indiana, which was uh, one point uh, for Obama. Uh, everybody loves this guy. And uh, he did an interview with Deadspin talking about the political climate and television and pundits and all that. Let's take a look. Obviously, there are some sports pundits who are total hacks, uh, but I'd argue that most political pundits are completely useless. The outliers are the few who are actually worth reading. Plus, the political pundits take themselves very seriously. Read the new Mark Leibovich book, whereas I think someone like Jay Mariotti realizes that he's just trolling people. Okay, so Jay Mariotti is a sports writer, obviously. Uh, Mark Leibovich just wrote this book about how Washington is such an inside, nepotistic, psychotic uh, bastion of lunacy. Okay, so now I like to believe that I'm someone that's talking politics sometimes out there in the public sphere, and you guys are joining me for the ride. Um, but I do think he has a great point on this. Uh, uh, you know, again, CNN's bringing back Crossfire. Idiot from uh, the left arguing with the hack from the right, and they usually work for one administration, the other guy, and you know what they think. MSNBC has now hired almost everyone that has ever worked for Obama. Fox hires Karl Rove and Sarah Palin on the other side. Um, is he right, though? Like, are, are there... But are there a couple people that are genuinely, I'm trying to do that here. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm the only one, but. It's because you have your own venue, you know? And, and uh, like a, a person like Andrew Sullivan has his own venue. And he's not bought and paid for by whatever think tank or heritage foundation or whatever to constantly be spouting the talking points on this channel and that channel and whatever. Just because we have these 24 hour news channels does not mean that we have 24 hours worth of things to talk about. Yeah. So they fill them with people who are just paid employees of whatever side who go out and give a very shallow argument and then it, it rebutted in a very shallow way and it's uh, it, and yet taken very seriously and, and their predictions are taken very seriously. I love a person like Nate Silver who simply does the statistical analysis. Right, he's you know, doing does hardcore it, numbers and it's proven yeah. to work. If he's a static, okay, if his thing is numbers then he could just say by looking at the numbers and the sheer volume of people now talking about politics, because by the way, 10 years ago our news didn't talk about politics so much, or MSNBC, CNN, it's all political pundits, politics, right. politics, politics. He could just look at it and say, by sheer numbers, you're going to have, you know, 90% of people are going to be, or whatever his number is, are going to be, right. you know, spouting off, you know, just basically hot air or whatever their stuff is for their side without any heavy analysis. But there's got to be something a little more personal because he's also going after the people at Politico. He's going after a lot of different kind of news-ish organizations that are online and saying that they're just also hacks. Right. So he has not, a major thing with Politico. Yeah, right? I don't like, know what his beef like is. He hates them. He's like, you know, he's talking about how they really have nothing to say and they don't contribute to anything. I think he's actually said about Huffington Post at some point. So he's gone after different organizations anyway, saying that they're really not contributing anything of value to you know the political world. But you know, I think we are in that 24-hour news cycle now where everyone's kind of giving opinions. And if you look at it rather than these are not, you know, these aren't facts and people giving teaching you how to think and just opinions and you can navigate it well. But he definitely does have a point. I don't know what his right. beef is specifically with Jay Mariotti either. <laughs> He's like, he doesn't like Politico or Jay yeah. Mariotti. Right. I would say sports writers know that what they're doing is essentially frivolous. It creates a lot of money, but it's they're, it's basically they're talking about a game. Right. They're kind of smiling as they're arguing right. with each other. Uh, po political pundits think that what they do is very, very serious. Yeah. And it's just as silly. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, it's just as silly.